<laughs> me and you are like this yeah. today. Oh my, it's definitely, you'd have to take avocados. Yeah. <laughs> you'd have to. I am Tom Holland. I'm Zendaya. And we are here today to answer some IMDB fan questions. Uh, one of the best things about playing Spider-Man is getting to work with Zendaya. <laughs> one of the best things about playing MJ is getting to work with Tom Holland. Yes. There's a bunch of things I could say. I, I, I think MJ, or at least our version of MJ, is very special to me. But I love just kind of been able to take my time with the character. I think something John has done really well is like, we've really seen her <laughs> evolve over time and their love story evolve over time. So it's been nice to like see her grow as a character, you know, from being very shy and guarded in the first film to now Okay. Kind of opening up and being a little bit more um, confident yeah. and out there, and maybe positive. Who, who would have thought? Not me. I think for me with Spider-Man, what I love so much about playing this character is the endless possibilities we have with the action sequences. Anything that you can imagine doing as Spider-Man is something that George Cottle and his team can recreate uh, in the world of stunts, and also you know with our amazing visual effects teams. It's just it's just kind of like. You know, I remember as a kid, I used to use this app called Pivot, where you could animate stick men. Obviously, as boys, all we would do is make them fight each other. So for me, getting to do that on a much grander scale and spend hundreds of millions of dollars from Sony's pocket is really fun. <laughs> One of my favorite Christmas movies, and it is my favorite Christmas movie because I have such a strong connection with it, to it with my mum, is Just Friends with Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> I love that movie. My mum and I watch oh, yeah. that every year, Aww. and it just like, honestly, the pair of us, That's every cute. year, wet ourselves laughing. <laughs> you don't see that every day. I would say probably the Home Alones. Home Alones are excellent, yeah. yeah. You know? It's pretty great. Like, and as a little kid, when you're watching it, you're like, this is sick. But you know what's interesting? Like, you think that you can do that. Yeah, totally. But the concept of Home Alone is actually terrifying. No, it's horrible. It's absolutely like, horrible. If I'm at Home Alone and there's a strong gust of wind and a tree branch, <laughs> like, scratches the window, I'm petrified. Yeah. It's the idea of two burglars trying to break <laughs> in. You know that you're in there and that you're all alone. I'm a really good cook, albeit you don't think so. And Zendaya claims that she's a really good well, cook. Well, I've never really, I've so. never really had. To be fair, that black bean burger thing you made the other day was good, actually really good. Yeah. And I, listen, I've never, I've never had one of your dishes that was so fancy and special. So yeah, I specialize in meat dishes, and you're vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, so. and the meat dish I heard you made, your brother said was awful. So I don't it know. It wasn't awful. I it was heard just ever it so was slightly awful. overcooked. And when I say ever so slightly, I mean at least 20 <laughs> minutes it was in there for Zula. I do these roast potatoes that will knock your socks Talking off. Talking all this, but I have yet to taste it, so. I'm not lying. No. Absolutely not. It was so stressful and we did such a good job. I just want to add also, he made it seem like we were gonna, you know, we were like, let's keep it chill, like let's not do too much, we're just gonna like, do a good job, we're not gonna stress ourselves out and we're just gonna like, coast, right? Come to show day, there is rain and costume changes and sparklers and backflips. I and didn't have any sparklers. Yes, there you is. You came like, out of a private jet and had a cannon full of I'm confetti. Just, I'm just saying. And you, you, you showered you me in dollar you bills. You didn't say that all that was happening, okay? There was two songs. It's Lip Sync Battle, you're supposed to pick one song. How did, was he able to do two? I don't know, feels like, feels like that breaks rules. the rules I and there's the a rule book somewhere. We should look back But everyone calculate. knows that rules are there to be broken. Listen, I have been petitioning for this for a long time. <laughs> and it has not happened yet, and I'm very disappointed. I must have come to visit Euphoria at least 30 <laughs> times this season. I know, we should have we should have tried to like Easter egg, put you in there. I want to be in Euphoria. Okay, let me talk to some people, HBO. Let's get them on the phone. I'll be honest with you, Bennett. You're too close to this case. It's changed. 
It's always changing. You had some weird ice cream the other day. Was that weird? It was weird. It no, had, it wasn't. Yes, it was strange. Yeah. It was like pumpkin cheesecake ice cream. No, it wasn't even. It was weirder than that. No, it, I think it was um, like sweet potato pie ice cream or something like that. But it wasn't my favorite. I don't know. My favorite weird. is a uh, brown sugar almond brittle from Jenny's. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You do like that. I you was like, ha- like so get me through the end of Euphoria. I was eating a pint of that a day, which is not. That's not great good for, for you. you. No. Yeah, but you know, that was really good. I'm not a huge ice cream lover. We did go to that place the other day, the Salt and Straw place, yeah. and I just had loads of different types, and I really liked the mint chocolate chip. <laughs> one is nice. He does. He can't get his teeth cold. I can I can't eat do ice it. cream with my teeth, but he's no. got to like. I can't do cold things. Like if I get a cold lime and soda and there's too much ice in it and it hits my teeth, it's game he's over. He's got to bite it with his lips. Yeah. How do you deal with the frappuccinos though? Don't you like iced coffee though, Tom? I just put it past my teeth. I put the straw past my teeth like that. Yeah, I would hope that no. Who's like drinking through a straw through their <laughs> through teeth? Through their teeth. <laughs> Oh, that's weird. Oh, that'd be awful. You just proceeded to explain how everyone in the world (laughs) drinks with a straw. Yeah. I think Peter would be in Hufflepuff. Hmm. But I think I would be in Gryffindor. Yeah. Because I think Peter is like a very, very accepting person, whereas I think the people in Gryffindor are real go-getters. You know, they're all about the Quidditch team, and it's like, (laughs) imagine where the jocks are, you know? Whereas the people in Hufflepuff, I reckon, like, is where more of the artistic people end up going Mm. to, you know? But I also think Peter Parker looks great in yellow. (laughs) Right? What about MJ? MJ. Slytherin. All day. Lies. No. Dirty snake. You're in Slytherin. (laughs) Am I? Yes. Just because someone is honest and upfront does not mean that they're Slytherin. No, no, no. Okay. Maybe you could be the person to turn Slytherin around and stop giving it such a bad rep. You know, maybe. I think she'd throw off the beaten path because, you know, Ravenclaw or something. You know, just. Yeah, Ravenclaw's not a bad one. You know, some just really, you know, she's like the underrated ones that people don't talk about. That's true. Nice. Zendaya. Would you like would be, to a, be Gryffindor. a Gryffindor, yeah. yeah. Tessa would definitely be in... Hufflepuff. No, yeah, she'd be in Ravenclaw. Because so she's quite quiet. Whereas Noon? Slytherin. Slytherin. <laughs> All day. <laughs> Noon is Voldemort. And I love that little snake, dog. Okay? I love that li- th- bit of a snake. He'll be cold to you, but he'll look out for you. He He's Tom Riddle before he knew what Horcruxes no, were. He he'll was be, just on the be, cusp of becoming bad. He'll be cold to you bad. and then what? Cuddle you. That is true. Exactly. When that you need true. it the most. That is true. I think it's really nice for him to have someone who he can lean on. And I think that's something we haven't necessarily seen in Spider-Man movies before. For MJ, I think it would be like that someone loves her for exactly who she is, and that allows her to kind of melt and open up a little bit more. The special part for me was just like watching them bring out the beautiful sides of each other. Parker's powers include the male spider's ability to hypnotize females. Stop, come on. (laughs) Yes, my spider lord. you'd like live off avocados? Yeah, I was, <laughs> me and you are like this yeah. today. Oh my, it's definitely, you'd have to take avocados. Yeah. <laughs> you'd have to, like from a pure logistical standpoint, it'd have to be avocados. Yes. And if you're gonna take a, 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 an album, avocado. you mean a record, yeah. an album. Yeah. You'd have to take one Probably record Probably greatest hits with of you. somebody. Yeah, like that's I think what would... I call music. Oh <laughs> seven. Now 27. <laughs> Do you know what I would take? I know what it is. I would take uh, Bob Marley's Legend, the remastered one. Oh, that's a one. good one. That's a good one. I think I would do a Donny Hathaway Greatest Hits album. Yeah. Or... This is a really boring answer, but all of them. <laughs> you know, I've been a huge fan of these movies for a very long time. So in turn, a huge fan of every single character and all the villains. So to bring them all back is really awesome. <laughs> Why? What are you laughing at? That's a that's, good answer. That's a good diplomatic answer. <laughs> it's diplomatic. It is. Now you do a problematic one. <laughs> um, I can't. I can't. I can't choose. It's tough. And then on top of that, they're also just like incredible actors. Yeah. Who I've would have loved to work with on anything, anyway. 
So Absolutely. it's like a double whammy, you know? Plus we grew up with these films, so being able to see my Spider-Man fight these other, yeah, you know, that Crazy. I grew, these other villains I grew up with, it's kinda, yeah, it still blows my mind that it even happened. What was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> <laughs> I like the homemade suit, the one where yeah. it's just pajamas. <laughs> Probably better for you. Yeah, it's comfortable. Yeah, I would agree actually. And you hate on the iron spider suit, but that one's sick. He doesn't like it for some reason. Do you know what annoys you know what really me about like it? it? Those stupid gauntlets, right? Mm -hmm. He can't do that with his wrists. The if that's where you draw the line in yes. reality, dude. That's why like, people love these on. movies, is because like, albeit it's fantastical, <laughs> everything makes sense makes and sense. could totally happen. But he, Lies. Mate, imagine the bruises he must have dude, on his poor Dude, the hands. metal literally goes on things. And then all of a sudden. Zendaya. So why can't the nanotechnology be on that part? Because I don't think it's that advanced yet. See, you just realized that you're kind of, you didn't think about that. Yeah, caught. I'm tired of doing these with you. <laughs> I'm just saying. Where's Jacob? I could be your guy's chair. There's cool yeah. aspects to it. I just, the hand thing irritates me. That's why when I shoot webs in the suit, I, I don't do this. I do this. That's how close Well, now that you know it's nanotechnology, you're fine. Ugh.